first off, we have something really cool here. We can generate buildings and it will populate the rows I've already laid out. And as you can see, it does a pretty decent job placing buildings and different kinds of buildings at the different kinds of kind of roads. Uh, now, I'm not going to keep this for now because I don't like the road network, so I'm going to load my level again to reset this. That's why you have saves, right? So we're back again, and I'm going to use the bulldoze tool to get rid of my bad rows. Well, as you can see, I'm no city planner, except in SimCity, but that's a bit different. Uh, first of all, you have insanely huge maps here. But with a matter of just placing some roads and using generate buildings here, you can get a variety of different buildings placed randomly along the roads. And it looks quite nice. I just got off filling the blanks or add some trees or whatever. I'm just going to place um, some random roads here to show you what kind of buildings to expect. This is a small road using a larger road. I'm going to get what I think will be slightly bigger buildings. An even bigger road will give me even bigger buildings. Let's generate some new buildings here and it I found it was important to have sidewalks ex unless uh, you wouldn't have buildings next to the road and you can see the tool is working and generating new buildings just like here you have no buildings uh, on this road because it doesn't have any sidewalks but roads with sidewalks have buildings I'm gonna fill in this blank area here by building a few roads and I'm gonna place buildings manually, no generation. And we'll jump into the placement tool and sort by category such as let's say a villa. So to to place this you click like this, but the placement might not be as good. Uh, so you gotta rotate the building. To quickly rotate it, you right click. To rotate a building with better precision, you use the plus and minus keys on the keyboard. I really wish there was a modifier such as shift, control or alt on the keyboard while using either the scroll wheel or uh, the right click because it's too it's too much when you right click using the plus and minus keys will help on the placement if we just knew what's front and back here I guess this is the front and in a matter of minutes, you have uh, a detailed area for for your people to live. With props, you can very easily plop random junk around the scene by using this search uh, fil to filter what you're looking for. Let's say industry random. This will, this will randomly generate stuff to place around the scene. And let's just generate buildings to fill in the blanks. 